Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. So I'm taking a little bit of break from Christmas today and I'm going to work on um, Tag Me Tuesday. And this is a challenge by Kathy at Kathy's Garden here on YouTube. And I will have a link in the drop down box to her video regarding this challenge. She has it every, every Tuesday. She has a video with her Tag Me Tuesday challenge. So, um, I'll link it for you so you can go see what it's all about and join in if you'd like to. So this week it's a swing tag journal. So I've got um, enough here to do three of them if I get to them. <laughs> we'll see um, <coughs> how long it takes me. This is my tag that um, I'm using as a template for making my, um, my tag, which I don't have to trace it because I figured out. Um, I went ahead and I cut all the tags to go inside for the journal pieces. I didn't think you wanted to watch me do all that. So the first one is this piece of paper I want to use. It's so pretty. It's out of... Well, I put everything up. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm trying to get my room cleaned up. I've been like fast spastic spastic is that the word I don't know we've been so busy as usual December took off and it's been crazy and I've been trying to get videos done and I haven't been cleaning up very good in between and uh, it's crazy in here so let's see my tag is five and a half inches tall and two and three quarters wide I believe I should measure and make sure. Well, I think it's two and three quarters. Yep. So I have to apologize. Some days my video hasn't gotten up till later, and um, some days I haven't had a video, and I'm really sorry. I, besides fighting with um, us not being home, I thought one day we didn't have um, let have internet for some reason and then one day our electricity went out I never did find out why I never did we don't know why um it was out all over the county and they never did give us a reason my parents were out everybody was out and so we were out a good portion of the day. I couldn't even make videos that day because, I mean, I had my camera charged and everything, but I don't have enough light in here to make a video without any um, lights. You guys wouldn't have been able to see anything. So, I couldn't make videos that day. I couldn't get a video loaded and I couldn't make videos. So, that was another day without a video up. <laughs> That was just a couple days ago. Oh, I was frustrated. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> they never said if there was a wreck or anything. Now, I did see that there was a train derailment that day. North. Um, it was about, I don't know, 20 miles north of the town my mom lives. And she's about seven miles west of me so I don't know if that would have I don't know but they never did say and I and there was like nothing on the news I just happened to see it on Facebook some random post about a train derailment I was like not even on the news it was some random post from away from here about a train derailment I'm like huh <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Something about cleanup underway, and I thought, well, golly, I didn't know that happened. And it was the same day of the electricity going out. It was kind of weird. So I don't know if that's going to happen.
He's got 20 cars. That does not look centered. Maybe it does. Anyway, I've just been having some problems. And then one day we went out. We were out of town all day because we went and um, spent the day. We drove out of town and spent the day with our grandkids. It was grandparents' day at their school. And we got to see the Christmas program. And that was fun. Which one do I, I think I want that one on front, definitely. So then you put like four of these in the center up there. That makes a little book. I'm going to put these together and at least try to put some ink. So it's just been crazy. I'm sorry about the videos. This one's a pretty easy. Totally missed one. <laughs> I bet you guys were thinking, hey, you left one. You left one behind. Do a little bit of decorating here. I got out my Tim Holtz stamps. I don't feel like I need to put a lot on there because this takes up a lot, but I'm out, I want to put something on there. So we will definitely put it, but. I should have had these out. I thought I would put specimen. But we'll see. I'll put it back in there. I don't think we'll get condemned. Put those back in there. And let's see. Maybe I should put it together because what we do is we have these flowers. And that's what we put it together with. I have a black or a brown, I think is what I, yeah, so I could do, oh, I need to poke a hole, what I do, okay, that, oh, there it is, okay, I need to poke a hole in this, this is kind of a felt flower, I thought it was pretty, so I need to poke a hole in the center of it, oh, my. Poked up at him. I thought it was going to pop for a second there. <clears throat> so I can do the black. Or I can do the brown. I got like the black. Okay. So maybe I should go ahead and put this together so that we know where the flower goes. And we made room for it. Oh, I forgot to put the. She put a little round thing there, but I don't think I want that on there because it'll cover up. But I do need one on the back, so let me get my little punch. I forgot about that.
my recollection, and it's Butterfly Studio. So oh, I could just use one of the scraps. This would be pretty back there. This is a smaller scrap. Let's use this little scrap. I don't need a very big scrap to do it. why that piece of paper is in there. That definitely doesn't belong. Okay. I'll just punch a little scrap here. I hope that covers up my brad. It might not be big enough to cover up my brad. I might need a bigger I'm going to need a bigger scrap, a bigger circle than what she used to cover up my brad. Okay, back to the punch drawer. I don't know what is wrong with my punch drawer. It's not wanting to open. in my drawer yet. It's not wanting to open. Or shut. Oh yeah, this should be big enough. This one's a one inch. The other I think was just what? Half an inch. Yeah, that's big enough. Okay, let's ink around it. Let's stamp that. Is that big enough? Just barely, but I think it'll work. No, maybe not. Just a little bit of lace down there. Okay, just a little bit of this. Put it just underneath there. Oh, 
back on its base. <laughs> yeah, that'll be pretty like that. So we'll glue that down. Maybe I can use my glue gun. To... I'm trying to use this more and more and more. It's just so expensive to buy adhesive anymore. I gotta get a new glue stick. My table is so crowded because I've got so many different um, journals on my table right now. And it's crowded. Oh, I'm just going to set those there. I <laughs> can't get them back in my, my thing. Where did I just... Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then... A number up here in red, I think. Yeah, let's get my red. Get my little yep, like that. Ooh, I almost dropped it. It fell off my um, my block. I wonder. I have this little bitty label. Like that. Yeah, that fits around that perfect. Let's. Uh, where's my black? There it is. Let's put. Ooh. good. I got a little bit of black on my tag. I didn't mean to do that. It was on my finger. Well, that worked out nice. I'll leave that out because I might. I've got one more that we're going to do floral. We'll do it next while I've got all this out. Um, I think that's good enough except I'm going to try to Put just a little bit of brown ink on this paper. It's cream color, but it's not quite what I want dark enough, you know? Okay. Now, in the back here, should I put something back here? I can't, well, I've already got a circle there. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I need a drink. Maybe I could put filed. Well, I can't stamp on that. It won't. I was thinking filed right over that, but it won't um, stamp on that because it's got that metallic. I don't think it would stick there. Let's put this one on here. Number. Bring in my towel, my lovely, <laughs> lovely towel to the table because I keep holding it over on my rack I have over here and I keep almost dropping these off. I'm scared I'm going to lose them. Um, and then, uh, maybe the agent number, and we'll do that in red back here, and we'll just do that maybe right there, and that should be enough for the back, I just didn't want to leave the back completely empty, so there's our first one. Mm, I got that one done. Now let me get the other one that is floral out. And of course it's on the bottom of everything. So here 
here's our other one that is floral. And um, I don't um, I think I need to get the pad. Let me see if I can get the pad. Here we go. Ah, this is the paper pad for it. It is floral farmhouse. And let's see. I've got some scraps in here we can use. Maybe we will just use this scrap to um, do the little uh, thing on the back. So I'm going to use this for the front and this for the back. So let me get my thing out of here. I'm going to cut two and three quarters. About five and a half. and three quarters instead of cutting the whole paper um, five and a half. my little sample tag. There it is. Now for this one, well, let me ink it up though. It's got to be inked up a little bit. Now for Kathy's sample, she uses digitals and such. Um, I just didn't have any digitals that I was really nuts over, so I just went to my scrapbooking paper. I tell you, I have not been scrapbooking a lot. And um, these, the last this one and the first one that I made, these are papers that I bought specifically for junk journaling. So I didn't mind using this. The next one that I'm doing, I used, I have used and used for scrapbooking. Um, and um, I just couldn't find any digitals that I felt like I wanted to use for this, but um, she did use all digitals. so. If you've got digitals, you can definitely use them for this. Except that you want to print your tag covers on heavier weight cardstock. You need those to be thicker. But of course, your insides can just be your copy paper. here. Um, I think I got this one and this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got, I got three flowers for this one. I got this one and this one and this one. And then I got, um, this little brad. And my little brads are furry today. <laughs> I've had these forever. There's something I hoarded and I'm using them. Go. Isn't that pretty? I think it's 
so pretty. Okay, so I'm stick these in here. I may end up having. You know what? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. I'll have one extra in the other one. Oh wait, here we go. I have an extra in this one too. I didn't know how many I cut. I just cut whatever I had paper wise. Okay. Now let's punch this. everybody who's um, subscribed recently to my channel. I love having new subscribers. I love having my old ones too. <laughs> but I've had some new ones and I thank you. Okay, now I know I've got this that I can put on here. Or I've got this one too. This one would be pretty on here, wouldn't it? I like that a lot on there. Okay, and did we use, we didn't use yeah, let's use this big field label on here. That'll be cute. We got lots of room, so we can use that one. Uh, let me find my bigger. smear that. I think I picked it up and sat it down. I did. Why can I do that again? <laughs> okay. We're going to try this one more time. It's my first day stamping. <laughs> Yay! So far, well, I don't think I like it in the center. I like that. That'll be good. Um, let's see. I kind of would like to put this bird on here somewhere. <laughs> Maybe I could put it off to the side. But I don't want to stamp it on the exact same paper. So maybe I could stamp it on a scrap of this. And, um, what do I want to stamp it with? Hmm. I guess black, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or a dark green. A dark green would be pretty. Is my dark green in here? Huh. I don't know 
from Dark Primus. Clover is dark. Try Lucky Clover and see what it is. I don't know if it's dark or not. That doesn't look very dark, does it? Let's try it. I don't think it's dark. Oh, that's pretty though. Okay, we're going to keep it. Also use my stamp scissors. That would look nice too. I like that. Works for me. All right. Cut that off on the edge. Okay. So let's put this down. Ouch. <laughs> okay.
put um, take oh, that's too long. I need this one. That's too big. This one. And this one, I'm not worried about the back of it because it's all pretty. So I'm not worried about the back of this one. Although, huh, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's try that. Now if I mess this up, oh, it's hard with that brad. I didn't think about that brad. back in the case and get them out of my way. I'll have to take them back out and clean them real good, but at least they'll be out of our way for now. This one. This one is with a um, an old scrapbooking kit. I've had this one around for quite a while. Uh, it's a Bella Boulevard Illustrated Faith. That's what it was. Illustrated Faith kit. stuff in it. I thought this would be fun. So I'm going to use this for the front and this for the back. Let me get my... This one shouldn't take very long. I'm going to use some stuff in it to decorate it. No stamping. What was it? Five and a half, right? I'm asking like you can reach out and tell me. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Okay, so now we have our tags. Let me ink them. And actually, I think I'm going to use gray. Have a link water in the pan. Wait a minute. Let's, yeah, okay. Okay, and then our paper spray. 
for the inside. And for this one, I have this one. Well, I either have this one. I couldn't decide. There. Nope, I think it's going to be this one. I have this one. This one. And this one. And then I have a pink fuzzy one. I don't have a lot of flowers, so I just had to choose out of what I had. Oops, I didn't get the top of that ink. There we go. This one I think will be really good in my Bible. That's what I really thought would be fun. And then back here, this one's not lining up very good. I'm not going to put a dot on this because I'm going to have to work this one out a little bit. It's not lining up very good. So we'll go ahead and decorate the cover, but I'm going to have to figure something out. It's not lining up very good. Okay. So. Um, I really like this Give Me Jesus. not be sticky anymore because the stickers are falling off and they're not sticky. That's the fun part about stickers, huh? I'm trying to see. This one looks like it's almost all here. I really like the heart. Let's get the heart on this one. Yeah, they are not at all sticky on here. Jesus. Um, I kind of like the... Um, I really like the idea of having a little tab on that too. That would be cute to have a little tab. Oops, over. I think I'll put that on there. And I was really fun. Oh, that is where that came from. I found this thing. I don't know where it went now. I set it over here and it must have fallen off, but I thought it was just a piece of paper. And I thought, well, where did that come from? It fell off of one of these. In the word can go right here on there. I need to be getting this out and using it because it's gonna go to waste because everything's just gonna start falling off and not get used, right? Because it's just gonna fall off and get lost. Ruin his grace. I can't pick this stuff up. Okay. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I had some other things set out, but I don't know where they went. Okay, so I'm going to set these off to the side and hope I don't lose anything else. Oh, a true heart. Okay. Um, okay, so let's ink around this. There's more corners falling off. Another one. Okay, let's ink. And I have, I have some of these. 
these tears. They got cheesecloth stuck to them. They fell off the roll that they came on. And so now I'm not quite sure what to do with them. So I just had them over here on my little thing. But I thought I'd use some of those on here. Not, yeah, on here. Okay, so let's bend this in half. And I'm not going to put anything on it because when I put it in my journaling Bible, I want to be able to um, put whatever on it. I thought that was really stuck to the heart. I wasn't going to get it off. I thought, oh boy, the one thing that decides to stick. <laughs> a layer that was trying to come off of there. I'm going to put this right here. Like that. And I'm going to think about this one right here. Jesus coming out of there and growing his grace right there. I don't remember how many I need. I took my hand off of it. Um, two there. Why is it not cutting? I keep having to take my hand off of it because it won't cut. Then I can't remember how many I need. Too much glue right there. 
way too much glue right there. Okay. Okay. So there's that one. So we made today. We made. Yeah, we made what a item. Made these three. So thank you for joining me today. I will have everything linked below to, um, so that you can find Kathy's channel and you can join in on Tag Me Tuesday if you would like to. Thank you for joining me. I guess I didn't hold them up close, did I? I think this one's my favorite. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.